No, fair play to you, Gwen. That was dead on. Stick the ribs all day, that will. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, it doesn't matter what they write here about the stuff they're putting in our food these days. When you get to my age, you need all the preservatives you can get so you can. Oh, rubbish. You've got a good few mile in your tank yet. All right. More than can be said for this place. What do you mean by that? Nothing. I mean, it's a nice enough house and everything. It's just that, well, don't you think it's a bit well-worn? Well-worn? Is that, like, shabby? You know what I mean? You're saying the house is shabby no, now? No, no, of course I'm not. I wouldn't have moved in if I thought it was shabby, would I? Well, no, I suppose not. Well, it's just that, you know, this table, chairs, settee... Well, they've seen better days, haven't they? Well, of course they've seen better days. I mean, I've seen better days, haven't I? You're not thinking of trading me in, are you? Oh. Aye. <sighs> Shameful about your place, Jim. Hey, behave yourself. It's our place now, so it is. Yeah, well, that's just it. To be honest, it don't feel like our place. Well, not mine. Oh. What, are you saying you're not happy there now? No, no, nothing like that. Of course I'm happy. But it's just that, you know, when a woman lives in a place, she likes to leave her mark on it. And right now, Liz's mark is still all over that house. I see. Well, it's her choice of curtains, her carpets, her cushions. I feel like she's haunting the place. And I don't want to feel like that, Jim. I want to feel like I belong. Right. Fucker and Tony Debs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Debs, do you mind if, uh, mind if I ask you a question? No. Nope. Well, uh, you're a woman, aren't you? Is that the question? And I thought you were a man of the world, Jim. No, oh, no, 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 here. Uh, well, look, is it true that a woman has to, um, well, leave her mark, you know, on somewhere, like a home, you know, before it becomes her own territory? Well... It's not the same as a dog piddling up a fence post, but, um, yeah, I do like to fashion our surroundings. Thank you very much. Go. Yeah. Very right, Curly. Make it quick, son. I've got some urgent business with Gwen. Uh, well, this is kind of urgent as well, I uh, need to learn. Oh, I thought you were rolling it at the moment. Well, that's just the thing, the money hasn't come in yet, so that's why it's only going to be a short-term thing, just a couple of weeks. How much are we talking about? Well, it's for the minicab thing, so it's uh, about eight grand. Hit grand. Catch yourself on, son. Tell you what, with gags like that, you could work in a nightclub. Uh, well, anything to know. Carry on out. Anything happen at the Rovers? Nah, nothing at all. Just doing a wee bit of thinking, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, what about? About what you were saying earlier, you know. Maybe you're right. The old place could do with a bit of smartening up, eh? Woman's touch. Oh, Jim, that's great. Right. <laughs> Aye, right enough, you know. Lick a paint. Probably make all the difference, wouldn't it, eh? Uh, lick a paint? Lick a paint, aye. You can choose whatever colours you like. How's that, eh? Not very big, these living rooms, are oh, they? thank you very much. We don't get a lot of light from that window, so a pale colour will make it look bigger. Well, I'll leave it up to you, Gwen, OK? You do whatever you want. Have you thought about putting in a bigger window? No. Well, it'd make the room look bigger. The room's big enough for me as it is, thank you very much. House would be worth a lot more. I'm not thinking of selling the house. What about some cornices? Oh. Ain't that a dad character? Gwen, in the name of God, we agreed to repaint the living room. I've no intention of rebuilding my whole house. You're the boss. Indeed. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pick up some colour charts from the DIY shop on the way home. We'll have a look at them tonight. And I'll also buy a rake of beer, and believe you me, that will make the whole room seem completely huge for at least a couple of hours. <laughs> Cheerio now. Bye. Look, that's nice. Tahiti sand. Tahiti sand? What colour is that, eh? It's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to make it sound attractive. Look at the state of this. Patrician sunset. Mango sorbet. I mean, what in the... Look at this here. Wild lichen. That there's grey with a load of orange in it. That would really brighten up the room, wouldn't it? <laughs> Oi, what's that you're looking at? Just a furniture catalogue. Gwen, what have I told you? Now, just hold your horses, will you? Jim, you can't go on sleeping in that bed upstairs. Why not? Well, how long do you have it? Well, since Elizabeth and I got married. What, over 20 years? Yes, and it's perfectly good for another 20 years, actually. You're supposed to change a mattress every 10 years because oh. dust mites get in there. Dust mites, dust mites. Oh, look at that one, isn't it nice? Yes, it's very nice. It's also a very nice price as well. It's just something to think about. I don't mind you thinking about it. Thinking's free, you know. I mean, we can go and think to ourselves we'll buy a mansion, can't we? It's just that, 
I'm walking up with backache ever since I moved in here. Right, fine. We shall go and look at some beds, OK? What, really? Yes, really, but we'll just look. Don't expect me to buy anything, all right? No. Anyway, what was that bed called? Something fancy, was it? <laughs> the Lexington. The Lexington, oh, indeed. Well, I suppose it's better than the Tahitian. Oh. Now there's an appetising sight. Beets, bacon and eggs. It's, uh, wages the lads on the site. Yeah, I didn't think you'd won it on the lottery. What are you doing here, anyway? I've, uh, come to get a shirt and, uh, sorry, I'd, uh... Hey, I'd, 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 uh, just let myself in without thinking I should have left a key. Oh, no, you're welcome any time, isn't he, James? Oh, I sure he knows he is. Do you want a cup of tea or something, son? Uh, no, I'm all right, thanks. I'd better get off. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. All right, cheerio, night. See ya. See ya. So, listen, what do you think of what I was saying? About what? Well, you can see the car. just dead, so you can't... He owes me a couple of days, so I can get stuck into the decorating straight away. Oh, I wish I could get a couple of days off. They're working us flat out over there. Well, I'm just saying, it'd be a shame not to get the stuff together, you know? Yeah, anyway, as long as you stick to what we agreed and don't go having any bright ideas. That's exactly what I'm saying. What if they haven't got exactly what we agreed? Oh, listen, I'm only joking. I trust yeah. Anyway, traipsing around DIY stores is not exactly my idea of fun. Where is it you're going? Redcliffe Park. Oh, that big shopping centre. That's right. I mean, they've got a DIY superstore now. It'll be a damn sight cheaper in there than it is around here, let me tell you. And you're going this morning? Well, I thought I might, I. Maybe I should go with you, you know, just for an hour. See that you buy the right thing. Gwen, you've got work? Yeah, well, I'll ring up, say I've got another doctor's appointment. Ailey won't mind. She won't have to mind. Ah, well, as long as you're sure. Yeah, I don't want you coming back with flock wallpaper or tins of red emulsion. No, oh, here, I like flock. <laughs> then I'm definitely going with you. Gwen, I hate to have to tell you this, but we came to buy paint. What in the name of God are we doing in the furniture shop? <gasps> These cupboards are lovely. Oh, come on, catch yourself on, will you? Well, we might as well have a look around, seeing as we've come all this way. We don't need new furniture, Gwen. That's a matter of opinion. Look, we're not here to buy new furniture. Let's go over there. There's the paint shop over there. Come on. Yeah, but it might give us ideas. I'm afraid you're getting ideas already. Yeah, but if we get our ideal look for the room, it'll help oh. with the colour scheme. My dream living room would be antique looking, you know, Chesterfield cities and that. Really? Well, I'm afraid you got the wrong fellow then. Why do you prefer modern? No, I prefer things I can afford. Well, don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't like modern, it's just that, you know, if money were no object. Why? <gasps> look at that bed! Uh, no thanks, and I'd rather you didn't either. This is gorgeous! <gasps> Don't you think it's gorgeous? Indeed, it's a very nice bed. Oh, it's beautiful. Just imagine sleeping on a bed like this. Beat sleeping on that lumpy old thing of yours. Excuse me, there's nothing wrong with my bed. That is the most uncomfortable bed I've ever slept in. And it's the one you shared with your ex-wife. Whereas this... Oh, this is like a magic carpet. Come on, lie down, see what you think. Gwen, there are people looking at us. I'm not asking you to have wild sex with me on it. I just want you to lie down and feel what a really nice bed's like. Well? It's a very comfy bed. Oh, it's perfect. Just imagine it, Jim. You and me under a big fluffy duvet. Yes, it's an exceptionally comfortable bed, Gwen. Let's buy it. Hey! No way, it's way out of our league. What are you on about? No, it's not. Gwen, I don't have £600 to throw around after a bed. We can get it on interest-free credit. Oh, no way. In fact, if we get a store card today, we get 10% discount on the spot. So that'll make the bed 540 quid. Listen to the cut of you. Were you in the advert or something? No, I saw it on the way in. You listen to me, Gwen. There is no way you're getting this bed or anything else ever again on the trip, OK? time you're at work, let's go and buy this paint. I really want this bed. We'll start saving up, then. Well, we don't need to. We could easily afford the repayments. Gwen, can we talk about this at home? No, I want to talk about it now. Please, home, Gwen. No, it's not exactly as if we're hard up. We've got two wage packets coming in. Yes, most of which go straight back out the front door, in case you hadn't noticed. Oh, so it's all right to spend every night at the Rovers, but it's not all right to have a decent bed, is that it? 600 quid is a lot of anyone's money. Not spread over two years. It's only a few quid a week. Ah, oh, excuse me, I was forgetting you've done this before, haven't you, loads of times? All I'm saying is, 
it wouldn't kill us. It's well within our means. Gwen, you've just got yourself out of one hole, haven't you? Exactly. I've paid off every penny I owe. I've wiped the slate clean. So why in the name of God do you just want to jump into another one? All I want to do is buy one item on credit. You don't trust me, do you? Yes, I do trust you. I just have a problem buying on impulse, that's all. No, you don't trust me. And I don't like it one little bit. <sighs> Gwen, will you catch yourself on? Come on. You'll be asking to see my weight packet next. No, Make I sure won't. I don't fritter my weight is away. shut up? We'll buy your damn bed. Still time for you to change your mind. I don't want you to feel you've been forced into anything. No, no, no. You're right. I was being unreasonable. It's taken an awful long time, this, though. I'm sure it's because we put down our Mr. and Mrs. MacDonald. No. They're desperate for people to buy stuff on That's credit. That's fine. Your application's been accepted. Oh, well, that's dead on. You should receive the card together with your credit limit within a few days. Obviously, you can order the bed today. And you get your 10% discount. Thanks very much. 